Hey y'all, this is Octavius the Great coming to you on this Tuesday. All right, y'all, we're on the Daily Mail coming through with this story. Kenya Moore in hot water over her super prob problematic Native American Halloween costume on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Kenya Moore is accused of a cultural appropriation after going to a Halloween soiree dressed as an indigenous person in the latest episode of the Real Housewives of Atlanta. During the tenth episode for the star, her RHOA co-stars were quick to call the fifty-year-old out about the Texas look at the party and laying their solo confessionals. And after the episode aired on Sunday, if you join the social media slam the reality star for her insistent choice. Fourth form, Kimo is being accused of cultural appropriation going to Halloween Soray, as you've seen earlier. During the night of the event, this King described herself as a warrior princess. However, between the full feather headdress and the feather that the show wrote Native American on the screen, people were clearly not buying it. All right, y'all. <clears throat> Let me just get straight into this. I understand why people are upset about this. They let you know people don't know history. Um, Y'all know that Indians in this country was black, right? You know, not this um, Asiatic that y'all see. Not this old school bonanza, how they look white and stuff like that. Because understandably, um, if you look back at some of Benjamin Franklin writing, you look at some of the um, colonists that wrote about the Indians, they were as dark as... Dark as me, if you've seen the picture of me, dark as Kenya Moore, and even darker. So the fact that the people sit up here trying to feel all offended over Native Americans when, you, honestly, y'all don't care about, Af um, about them. And then on top of that, you got to sit here and think, too. If you look back in history, Google it, please. If you look back in history, you will see that the reason why so many Indians disappeared is because they got lumped in with the Africans as being put into slavery. There were still Indian tribes that were, were not under slavery rules, but they helped help with slavery, and some of them um, also helped with the escaped slaves. So either way it go, black people have Indian blood in them, and you heard it all your life, oh, my grandma Cherokee, oh, I got this, I got that. Me personally, uh, my tribe is Creek and Choctaw, so I at least know that more piece of my family come from and we're dark, light, brown, all type of colors in between. It's just that my problem is everybody sat up there on that show and had an issue with it. Like, y'all really care when we got bigger issues than somebody dressing up in Indian garb, which is really our people garb. Look at Sitting Bull. He was dark skinned. Just look it up. I just found this so called outrage is a bunch of BS. Because if y'all really want, if y'all really truthfully care, y'all sit up here and uh, right the wrongs that have been done to the indigenous people, which is us. Because what color was the Indians? They were copper tone people. Who on this planet is copper tone? And that's something that is described in um, this country. Look up the term American. So. I just want to do that quick little video, and I'm not really ranting and raving or hollering about it. It's just that it is something else that people are wasting their energy on. I just, I just find it very disappointing and disheartening that these black, that as us being black people, we ain't looking up history and seeing that uh, we are the indigenous people of this country. Y'all want to keep on talking about Africa, Africa, Africa. Y'all need to understand there were black people here before slavery hit here. Whether it be indigenous people here or Africans who already travel over here, because Africans been traveling the seas for thousands and thousands of years. Why do you think there's so many, so many temples and so many pyramids that are very similar across the world? They are very similar to each other. So what does that tell you? So it's just all about people still being ignorant to the fact of what bloodlines and nationality is. So I'm not knocking people for not knowing, but we have this computer in our hand. You can go to Google and find out almost anything that you want. So save this fake outrage, learn your history, and get off King Moore's back. She does plenty of things, but the fact that y'all sat up here and making this a big thing like y'all really care about Native Americans, I need for y'all to stop. People sit up here and take our culture day in and day out, and nobody fights for us. So don't sit here and try to fight for somebody else's culture, which is really a part of ours. So I hope y'all have a wonderful day. Let me know what you think. Comment, share, subscribe. Please subscribe. It's not hard. Please comment and share. It's not hard. It's free. Thank you and have a nice day. This is Octavius the Great. All right. Bye.